Good morning and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Kinsey. And I'm Andy, and we are here to provide you with the news for today, Thursday, March 10th. Attention anyone who is interested in joining the wrestling team. Lifting, conditioning, and open mat begins March 14th. Hope to see you then. Attention tennis team members, there will be no practice today. Again, no practice today. Today we are on an afternoon activity schedule because we will be having an assembly at the end of the day. First period will end at 917. Please check your agenda for the remaining bell schedule. The public library is hosting a coffee house for teens on Friday, March 11th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. The program is geared towards teens in 6th through 12th grades who are interested in creative writing and want to connect with other like-minded teens. You will have the opportunity to do free writing, enjoy refreshments, and share your work in a relaxed, <coughs> non-judgmental environment. Stop by the library for more information. Good morning, Apollo. I am Andy Bland, and I will be your host today on Eagles Nest Live. In this special segment of ENL, we're going to go over politics and all things surrounding the 2016 presidential election. It's been a big year for the non-establishment candidates. This year's candidates, such as Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, have made great waves in this year's presidential election. Some major events that have occurred so far in this presidential race are primaries in the states, such as the New Hampshire primary and the South Carolina primary. In the Republican Party, both primaries were won by Donald Trump. And in the Democratic primary, the primaries were split, with Sanders winning New Hampshire and Clinton dominating in South Carolina. A major question we face in today's society is whether we want to make America great again or make America whole again. As Apollo student, some of us will be able to vote and we will be able to determine who the next president of the United States should be. So we need to go out and poll and we need to ask some Apollo students who they like as a candidate and who they think is suitable for, to be the next president of the United States. Let's go. I'm here with my good friend, Mr. Head. And Mr. Head, can you tell me who the GOP frontrunner is in this year's presidential election? Mr. Blanton, I would believe, I believe that would be Mr. Trump. Yes, that would be a Donald J. Trump. Now, Mr. Head, do you approve of Donald Trump as a viable presidential candidate? Depends on what you define as viable. Um, is paper viable to build a house, Andy? Um, are the Canadians a good viable ally to go to war with? No. Are they a good, good ally to, to support us? So what I'm hearing is you don't like Donald Trump as a presidential candidate. Is, is that an accurate assumption? I'm just saying, you can't trust a guy who has $20 billion and can't even afford good hair. I'm here with my buddy Nathan Pearl. Nathan, who do you like as a presidential candidate in this year's election? None of them. I'm here with my friend Chelsea. And Chelsea, who do you like as the next presidential candidate? Like, who's your favorite candidate to become president in this year's election? Bernie Sanders. Bernie, going Democrat. I'm here with my really good friend, John Robbins. John, can you tell me who you like the most as a candidate for the presidential election for 2016? I like the Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Marco, huh? All right, Republican. I'm here with my also good friend, Michael Henry Crabtree. Michael, can you tell me who you like as a candidate for the 2016 presidential election? Well, as much as I like the Donald, Andy, I'm going to have to go with Marco Rubio. I'm here with my good friend Brandon Alexander. Brandon, who would you like to see win this presidential election? Kanye 2020. I'm here with my good friend Damien. Damien, who do you like as a presidential candidate in this year's election? Hillary Clinton, because her husband is a G and a player at the same time. If you look at the following images, you can tell that Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are both dominating the delegate counts for their respective parties. It's going to be a crazy year for politics, Apollo. Thank you all for participating, and we'll see you back here next time. The Student Council will host its annual fluorescent fever on Friday, March 25th in the Commons area from 8 to 11 p.m. This is a casual dance and you are encouraged to wear as much white or black as possible so your outfit will glow under, under the fluorescent lighting. Your attire must follow the school dress code. 
Tickets will be $5 and all tickets will be sold in advance. There will be no sales at the door. Students will not be allowed to bring in glow sticks. Also, there will be strobe lighting at this dance. If you have questions, please see Mr. Poth. If you would like to be a peer tutor for the 2016-2017 school year, applications are available in the guidance office. In addition to your application, your grades, attendance, and behavior are also taken into consideration. Stop in guidance to pick up your peer tutor application for next school year as soon as possible. Attention all winter sport athletes. The Winter Sports Awards Night has been set for March 24th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Please make sure your parents are aware of this event as we will recognize the winter sport teams accomplishments and the senior athletes. On today's lunch menu in the Mama's Kitchen line, we will be having chili, mozzarella breadstick, veggies and dip, fruit choice and jello. In the Global Fair line, taco salad or pizza, veggies and dip, fruit choice and jello. In the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, chicken, peanut butter and jelly, spicy chicken, fries, veggies and dip, fruit choice and jello. In the sub and salad line, sub bar with black bean sauce or chef salad, fruit choice and jello. We'd like to wish all students good luck in their co-curricular activities. Have a great day. Stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.